Camper, I am so pumped up to be here with you today. In this video, I'm going to be discussing three ways to break your intermittent fast because so many people break their fast the wrong way and all the benefits go away. So how do you break your fast without gaining weight? How do you break your fast so you can continue getting those benefits from the fast? Well, that's what this video is about. I'm going to give you three options here. I'm also going to share with you the worst way to break your fast. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be very alarming. You might be doing it that way. I'm also going to be debunking some fasting myths. <laughs> Let's face it. When we start telling our friends we're fasting and our coworkers we're fasting, they're going to think you're nuts. So I'm going to debunk some of the things that are being thrown at you if you try fasting. I'm also going to share with you how to start a fasting schedule. So this is going to be such a great live stream. I'm so grateful to be with you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ben Azadi. I am a best-selling author of three books. You could find these books on Amazon and you could go get them today. I'm also the founder of Keto Camp. Here at Keto Camp, we're on a mission to educate and to inspire 1 billion people on planet Earth. And I also have to give you a, some gratitude today because we just hit 100,000 subscribers here on the Keto Camp YouTube channel. And that's because of you, Keto Campers. That's because of you. So thank you so much for your support with this message. And thank you for allowing us to hit 100,000 subscribers. Cheers to a million and 10 million and just changing the world. So let me know where you're watching from today. I also want to know before we're done with this video, what are you grateful for today? Express one thing you're grateful for today and let me know where you're watching from. So I actually have some presentation slides I'm going to pull up for you here on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram. You can't see those slides, but I'll make sure I read them for you. At the end of this live stream, I'm going to block out 15, 20 minutes to answer your questions. So I'm going to be here with you for the next hour or so, and I'm committed to giving you some great information all about fasting. By the way, I do go live here on the Keto Camp YouTube channel and on Facebook and on Instagram every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I have not missed one day in just about a year. I'm consistent to show up for you. So let's talk about fasting, shall we? Let me pull up some slides here. I think it's important to understand, um, oh, the camera's kind of, I'm gonna have to reset this camera one second. Okay, it's still giving kind of like a fuzz, one second. Is that better? Okay, that's much better. All right. I think it's important to understand some myths. All right, let's debunk some fasting myths. So you can see right here, I have a plate with a clock on it and it says common myths about intermittent fasting. I know you can't see it on Instagram, but I'm gonna share what I'm looking at here. So let's talk about the, the most common ones that I see. Number one, because I used to own a CrossFit gym here in Miami and I used to get this all the time because I've been teaching fasting since 2013. Ben, I'm going to lose muscle when I begin fasting. I'm going to I'm gonna lose all this hard-earned muscle. Is that true? Will your body store fat and then burn muscle when the chips are down? Here's the deal. When you practice fasting, your body is very smart. It actually raises counter-regulatory hormones. This is your sympathetic tone. These counter-regulatory hormones, they run counter to insulin. Insulin is the fat storage hormone, the only fat storage hormone that we have in the human body. When you're fasted, insulin is baseline and these counter-regulatory hormones go up. One of these hormones is human growth hormone. You might've heard of human growth hormone because celebrities and artists and musicians, they pay thousands of dollars every month to get human growth hormone injected into them could it, because it helps them perform better, helps them look younger, but there's consequences when you get it injected. Your body naturally raises human growth hormone when you are in a fasted state. As a matter of fact, a study showed a 1,000 to a 2,000% increase just after 24 hours of fasting. Something to understand here is that human growth hormone is muscle building and muscle preserving. Therefore, you will not lose muscle during a fast. So here's the analogy. So many people think, oh man, I'm gonna lose muscle. 
my body's in a breakdown muscle, I'm working so hard in the gym, why would I want to fast to lose that muscle? The body's not stupid, let's give the body credit. The body, the innate intelligence, is the world's greatest physician. So saying the body stores fat and then burns muscle, it's like this analogy. It's like storing firewood all summer long to get ready for the cold winter months, right? That firewood is your body fat. So now winter rolls around the fast and you have all this firewood stored, your body fat, but instead of using the firewood when you need it, you go and you chop up your couch and throw that into the furnace. Doesn't make sense. The body will not store fat and then burn muscle when the chips are down. The body will not do that until you reach 5% body fat or less, which is freakishly low. So let's put that myth to bed. The next myth here is, will you go into starvation mode? Fasting is not starvation. Fasting, you have your, it's your choice not to eat. Okay, the difference between starvation is that you're forced not to eat with starvation and fasting, you're choosing not to eat. The body does not eat, need to eat every two to three hours. Okay, I know you've been told that by personal trainers and health coaches and doctors and nutritionists and dietitians. Hey, you got to eat every two to three hours. You got to keep that metabolism revved up. You got to keep it firing in all cylinders. So keep eating small portion control meals throughout the day. Here's the deal. If you want to age faster than anybody you know, eat every two to three hours, you'll get there. The body's not stupid. The body will raise those counter-regulatory hormones. In fact, a study showed a 13% increase in the basal metabolic rate, which is the metabolism. So a 13% increase in the metabolism after a four-day water fast. Because your body's so smart. Your body knows there's no food, there's a famish, let's pump this body full of energy so it's alert, it's focused, and it's fired up, firing on all cylinders to go hunt and kill. Your body doesn't give a damn that you can go on your phone and hit the Uber Eats app and have a millennial knocking on your door in 30 minutes. Your body is hardwired for the old school. So your body will not shut down its metabolism when you skip a meal or practice fasting. In fact, it'll help you have more of an efficient metabolism and that is the key so let's put that myth to bed if you're just joining let me know where you are watching from uh, the next myth is hey doesn't our brain need glucose to function here's something that a lot of people don't understand when they bash keto and they bash fasting they'll say we need glucose it's the body's primary fuel source is that true no it's some it's a myth that has been regurgitated over and over and over because that was accepted as truth. But it's not truth. It's not true. The primary fuel source for the body is fat. Think about this. Keto is not a diet. Keto is a metabolic process that's, that has been around since humans have been around. Same thing with fasting. So just because they're popular on Dr. Google does not make them a fad. They're facts. So the fact that we understand that every culture in the history of this world did fasting and keto, we know that that is the primary fuel source. If you look at the body, uh, uh, the human physiology, and you look at all the byproducts that are produced from burning fat versus burning sugar, you'll see that fat is more efficient because it creates less metabolic waste. So when you're burning sugar, that's like a Mack truck with all the smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe. Not healthy for the environment not healthy for your cells. When you convert and do fasting with keto, you're like a Tesla, cleaner for the environment, cleaner for your cells. I'll give you another example on why fat is our birthright, our primal birthright. Babies that are breastfed are burning fat for fuel. They're in and out of ketosis because breast milk has saturated fat, cholesterol, and protein, and it helps the development of the brain, which by the way is mostly fat. The third argument here to put this myth to bed is that the body is made up of 70 trillion cells that you have inside of you right now. Guess what? Your cells have a lipid cell membrane around it, a lipid, bi a lipid bilayer that protects the cell. It's the bodyguard of the cell. Life begins and ends here. It's made up of protein, saturated fat, and cholesterol, not carbohydrates. Less than 1% of the total body is made up of carbohydrates. The body loves fat. 
you were designed to burn fat. Burning fat is our birthright. So yes, the brain does need glucose, but that doesn't mean you, we need to eat the glucose. The body is so stinking smart, it could take fatty acids and protein, convert that to glucose for the brain, so the brain's not using a combination of ketones and glucose. That is perfect health. So let's put that myth to bed. I hope this has been helpful so far. Liliana, good to see you, you're beautiful. All right, we have Toronto, we have New York, we have England, y'all are amazing. Next, okay, here's something to really understand. Before you even begin fasting, it's important to do this, okay? Teach the body to start utilizing fatty acids for fuel, aka keto, before you even begin a fasting protocol. Because fasting is a powerful tool, just like a chainsaw is a powerful tool, right? But a chainsaw could hurt you. A chainsaw could get the job done or hurt you, depending on how you use it. So more important than the tool is the person who wields that tool. So here is a very powerful tip for you. If you're struggling with fasting or you're thinking about doing fasting, do this. I know it's, uh, the slide here is kind of messed up, but we wanna make sure we are gradually decreasing our carbohydrates until we hit 50 grams or less of carbs. That'll get you into ketosis, and then we start building into a fasting schedule. At the same time, we start incorporating some electrolytes we start doing what's called the 2222 rule. So if nothing else, follow this 2222 rule uh, that Dr. Pompa, my mentor, who I'm speaking in Tampa, uh, I'm speaking in Tampa with this weekend, developed this rule. So uh, you see here on the screen, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it just because uh, Instagram can't see this. But the 2222 rule is two every day have two tablespoons of avocado oil or olive oil. I prefer the olive, two tablespoons of coconut oil or MCT oil two tablespoons of grass-fed butter or grass-fed ghee, and two teaspoons of sea salt. That's gonna teach your body to start utilizing fat for fuel, and then you start doing fasting. And this is how you do fasting. Let me show you the best way to start. You just start by fasting three hours before going to bed, and then you go three hours after waking up. So if you go to bed at 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. each night, make sure you're done eating by 8 p.m. So you have a three-hour fast, you go to sleep, you wake up and then you wait to have your first meal in three hours after you wake up. By that point, you should be around the 16, 18 hour mark of a fast and that is the sweet spot. Your body's gonna type, start pulling out fat, you're gonna get some of the autophagy, which is cellular repair and cleanup, and your body's gonna do a lot of great things right there. I don't know if you can hear my dog, but he's snoring down below. Let me know if you could hear him. <laughs> I might have to wake him up. So what is the best, and this is what you want to watch, right? What is the best and worst ways to break a fast? Before I get to that, please, on YouTube, hit the thumbs up button on this video. It really helps YouTube and the algorithm get this video into more hands. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button with that little bell so you're notified. And then on Facebook, share this on your uh, feed right now and tag a friend who's doing keto or doing fasting or somebody who wants to do keto and fasting and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna reveal the best way to break a fast and I'm gonna answer questions as well. Okay, you don't hear Ziggy, that's good to know because I hear him. So here we go. Let's start with the worst way. The worst way to break a fast is this, my friends. A combination of carbohydrates and fat. So I'll give you an example. A piece of gluten-free bread with avocados or yeah, avocado toast. Not good. We don't wanna combine carbohydrates and fat to break a fast. That's the worst way to break your fast. So if you're doing that right now, it's slowing down your fat loss results and it's slowing down your overall results with fasting and, and keto if you're doing keto. So the reason we do not wanna break a fast with carbs and fat is this. Towards the tail end of a fast, whether it's 12 hours, 16 hours, 24 hours, and even longer, your hormones are now sensitive, which is great. We want that. So with sensitive hormones, let's talk about insulin. You're, if you have carbohydrates to break a fast, your body is going to raise glucose, which carbohydrates do. So blood sugar will go up in the body. And the body has a very tightly controlled mechanism for sugar in the blood. It only wants about one teaspoon in the entire bloodstream. When you eat carbs, you have more than that. So the body needs to deal with that because sugar is toxic. 
So the body actually calls the insulin troops, yo insulin, that, which is located in the uh, pancreas, which is the beta cells. And then your pancreas produces insulin. Insulin now, the job of insulin, insulin is amazing. It's not the bad guy. It's actually the reason we exist. It's because of insulin. Insulin now seeks out the excess sugar in the blood that is caused from eating the carbs. And it takes the excess, excess sugar and it now starts shuttling it towards your cells, right? To be used for energy. So we could bring back the sugar in the blood to a healthy level. So it goes and it pushes it towards your cells. Cells are like, have a, like a lock and key mechanism. Your insulin unlocks the cell, the door opens up and glucose, the sugar goes into the cell to be used for energy. This is great. This is exactly what we want. The issue is this. If you have carbs and you spike your glucose and fat at the same time, now those cells doors are open, glucose is going into the cell and fat comes along for the ride, which is going to slow down your fat loss results and it might even cause you to gain weight. Not good. So therefore we do not want to break the fast with a combination of fat and carbohydrates. Let's talk about the best way to break a fast so you could get maximized autophagy, maximized fat loss. And this is going to be, I'm going to give you three options here. So first of all, I see there's almost a hundred of you right now watching on YouTube. So grateful for you all. I gave you a big thank you for helping us hit a hundred thousand subscribers here on our YouTube channel. So grateful for you all. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button, do so and keep sending your questions through. I see a whole bunch of questions in there. Instagram as well. I'm going to make sure I answer all, uh, many, many questions, not all, but many questions at the tail end of this live stream. So let's talk about the best ways to break a fast. The best way is to have mostly protein and a little bit of some fat. So I tell a lot of my clients and especially the members of the Keto Camp Academy, if you want to get the most from a fast, if you want to get uh, digestive benefits, fat loss benefits, autophagy benefits, hair, skin, and nail benefits, then we want to make sure we're having something like a high quality bone broth. Okay. Not all bone broth is created equal. I talk about this a lot. So you could make your own bone broth, which is ideal, but I don't do that. So I'm not going to recommend it uh, because I don't personally do it. But if you want to make your own bone broth, that's the best option. The second best option is to get it from a quality brand, which is Kettle and Fire. Okay. Kettle and Fire. I get their bone broth delivered to me on auto ship every single month high quality ingredients. This is the best way to break your fast. It's going to help you keep getting fat loss and it's going to help with the gut because bone broth has some aminos, it has glycine, it has different things, collagen that help line the gut, helps with your hair, your skin, helps with cellulite and it helps you feel good. So I do have an affiliate uh, coupon code with Kettle and Fire if you want to try them out. The link is kettleandfire.com slash ketocamp. And the coupon code is just keto camp and you'll get 15% off your entire order on YouTube. I have a link down below as well. So that's a good option for you. Either make your own bone broth, which is the best option or get it from a quality brand like kettle and fire. Second option for you to break your fast is going to be with a good quality source of protein and fat, like a ribeye steak, a New York strip steak. So a piece of grass fed and grass finished steak. And you could cook it with like an olive oil or a coconut oil a healthy fat you cook it in and then add like some uh, cruciferous vegetables to it. Some, some green leafy vegetables that are sauteed and steamed as well. My favorite green leafy vegetables, arugula, dandelion greens. I also like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Uh, so that, that would be a great option for you as well. So a piece of steak with some green leafy vegetables. Option number two for breaking your fast. Great option. Option number three, I need to get a clicker here so I'm not having to go back and forth. I'll get a clicker soon is going to be a fatty keto smoothie. So one of my favorite ways to make a smoothie to break a fast to get fat loss results is going to be some coconut milk, some organic unsweetened coconut milk. Um, and I like to actually throw in a full avocado in there. It gives it a nice good texture. And then I use a, a bone broth powder actually from Paleo Valley. They have a fantastic bone broth powder. Um, which is grass fed, grass finished. It's paleovalley.com. I also have a coupon code for them, which is ketocamp10. Uh, if you want to use that coupon code, but paleovalley.com, ketocamp10, they have a great bone broth powder. I also like collagen protein 
as well, but a high quality protein with coconut milk, avocado, maybe some ice, another fantastic option to break your fast with to continue getting amazing results with your fast. Here are some fasting crutches that I have outlined for you because if you feel, if you're frightened to go 16 hours without food or 24 hours without food, crutches will make a big difference for you. Fasting crutches will. So as you can see here on the screen, here are my favorite fasting crutches. Bone broth. The bone broth fast is fantastic. I have a video on my YouTube channel here on how to do it the right way, a bone broth fast. So just type that into the search box. Fatty coffee, right? I have a video on how I make my fatty coffee, which I believe is the world's greatest fatty coffee in the world. That's also on this YouTube channel. You could have some black coffee. You could have some black tea. You could have some MCT oil. Uh, low protein, low carbs, so low calorie, low protein can still get a lot of the benefits of a fast. These are crutches for you. Fasting is a muscle that you develop over time. Here's a very important nugget that I hope you write this down. There is no such thing as a failed fast. Every fast has its benefit. And you should not compare your fasting schedule to mine or to anybody else. You should not compare your results to mine or anybody else. I say this all the time to the members of my Keto Camp Academy. You are not competing against anybody in this world because amateurs compete, but the abundant, the world class, you, you create, you collaborate. Your only competition is who you were yesterday. Our model here at Keto Camp is to beat yesterday. I wear t-shirts beat yesterday. So you just want to be better than you were yesterday. If you did a 12 hour fast yesterday and you couldn't go any longer, congratulations. Today do a 12 hour and 15 minute fast and keep building from there. Keep building from there. The goal is to just keep beating yesterday. Have a better week this week than you did last week. Have a better month this month than you did last month. My definition of success is the same definition I learned from Earl Nightingale, which is Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. An ideal, by the way, is an idea that you fall in love with. So right now, fasting is an idea that you probably are in love with. Keto, your health, your body. So as long as you are progressing towards that goal, you are successful. And you will not fail as long as you don't quit. Because failure does not exist until you quit. So in, in my academy, I have so many videos about this. I call it mental six pack and I'm very passionate about this topic uh, because it, the mindset component is even more important than the actual nuts and bolts of keto and fasting and all that stuff. If you don't want to have it here, it's health from the inside out, not the outside in because we think 60,000 thoughts every single day. And guess what? Most of those thoughts are the same thoughts from the day before. And those thoughts are negative. So we get what we think. We don't get what we want in life. We get what we are. And we are our thoughts. So start thinking abundant, healing, healthy thoughts. Start having love for yourself because love and gratitude are two of the biggest healers that we have in this world. Then you understand, do keto. Eat, follow the 2222 rule. Break your fast this way. When you do it the right way and you start focusing on your health from the inside out, that's how you get the results you want. So I'm going to get to some questions here. Before I do, I do have a special opportunity for you here because I just did a, a fantastic webinar um, called, it was four ways to master keto and fasting. If, if you attended my webinar, type in webinar. I want to see how many of you attended. Uh, it was last Friday. It was amazing. We had over 700 people and I taught you ways to master keto, master fasting. And I had a special offer at the end of that webinar to get health coaching from me and get access to my Keto Camp Academy for 50% off to be grandfathered in and locked in at that rate. Uh, in the Keto Camp Academy, if you're not familiar, I have 180 plus videos that you cannot find anywhere else. It is kindergarten to graduate school for keto and fasting. I also do two group coaching calls on Zoom every month. We have monthly um, master classes. We just did one on thyroid. We're going to do one on toxicity. So I wanted to make sure, I went to my, my technical team today and I said, hey, I'm doing a live stream today on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Can we extend that off for a couple of, a couple of hours for those who are live and actually want to take advantage of that? And they said, yes. So if you really love this information and you want coaching from me and you want a structure on keto and fasting and so much more, then I'm extending this offer to you as well 
Um, here is the link for you. I don't know how long it's going to last. I think there's a few hours left, but you'll get 50% off. So it's normally $39 a month, but if you go to the link right here, which is kkaspecial.com, so Keto Camp Academy, kkaspecial.com. I hope you're writing this down on Instagram and you type in keto50 at checkout, you'll get locked in at 50% off every single month. And if you're not getting tremendous value from the academy, it's very easy to deactivate your account. You just hit a button and you're no longer going to get billed and it's very easy to do so. But I know it's gonna be the greatest, most comprehensive program you have ever seen in your life. So the link is right there, www.kkaspecial.com. Use keto50 at checkout. Um, and you'll get locked in at that rate. I can't tell you, I think it's gonna last a couple more hours for that deal, so I hope you take advantage of that. Hopefully you're seeing this on time and not on the replay. Cool, so John was on there, Beth, Diane, uh, Diana, Chris, Michelle were on the webinar. So let me get to some questions here. Of course, Zippor was, I love you Zippor. Um, I'll, leave that, I'll leave that link up there just for you. So let's get to some questions. I know there was a whole bunch of questions that came. Cindy, thank you for typing that in. Uh, it, the link's down below as well on YouTube. So let's get to some questions here. How would we break our fast if we work out after? Would berries and fatty fish or eggs work? So Gabrielle, are you saying you're gonna work out after you break your fast? Um, I think that's what you're saying. So yeah, I like berries, fatty fish, and or eggs. I think that's great. Uh, that's a great combination right there. You actually have more flexibility because you're going, you could actually have a little bit more carbohydrates even with the fat because you're going to go work out and you're going to burn some of that off. So you, little, you have a little bit more flexibility there, but I love the berries, the fish, and the eggs as a, as a way to break it. Um, ben, why do you use two brands of bone broth? Which the, I only use um, Kettle and Fire. I like another brand, uh, Bonafide... Uh, Get the name, you might know it, but Bonafide something has a good bone broth. I've actually never used it, but I checked out their ingredients. But I only use Kettle and Fire. That's the only brand that I've been using. Uh, Gigi, do you mean when you said have a fatty coffee that you can have this while fasting? Gigi, it's a fasting crutch, right? If you want to get the most from a fast, have water only, water and sea salt. But if you feel like it's, if you want to extend the fast, but you have a tr trouble doing it with just water and sea salt, then please have it with, um, have a fatty coffee. So you'll get a lot of the benefits and still be able to continue that fast. Kettleandfire.com slash keto camp. Kettleandfire.com slash keto camp. And the coupon code is keto camp to get 15% off. The coupon code is keto50 for the academy. Um, our next coaching call is next week, by the way, if you want to join that. The 222 rule is, uh, Teresa, two tablespoons of avocado oil or olive oil, two tablespoons of um, coconut oil or MCT oil, two tablespoons of grass-fed butter or grass-fed ghee, and then two teaspoons of sea salt. Have that every day. It's not in one sitting. It's throughout the whole day, right? You put into consideration the foods that you're eating throughout the day. Um, that's a great thing to do. I teach that in the first 28 days in my academy. Teach the body to start utilizing fatty acids for fuel instead of glucose. Please, as I answer your questions, before I do, well, there's two people who don't like this live stream. I see, some thumb, I see two thumbs down, but the majority of you love this live stream. Uh, for those of you who hit the thumbs down, let me know what is it you don't like about this information. I, I'm open-minded. Maybe you feel like this information is not applying. I want to know. Give me the feedback. But for those of you who are enjoying this, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps YouTube. By the way, the thumbs up, the thumbs down button also helps the algorithm. So thank you for even engaging. Um, Stephanie, for what's it work? I don't understand, I didn't understand how fasting affects muscles. I got lost. Manu, when you fast, your body raises human growth hormone. Human growth hormone is muscle building and muscle preserving. So your body is not going to tap into muscle. It'll tap into fat. So I hope that that helps clear it up for you. I like Zevia. Um, now here's how you know if you could have Zevia during a fast or not. You gotta test your blood glucose. 
test your blood glucose right before you have the Zevia, write down the number, and then test your blood glucose 30 minutes after you finish your, uh, your, you had your Zevia. If your blood glucose goes up by more than five points, then it is breaking your fast. It's negating the autophagy. It's different for everybody. If your glucose stays the same, then you're absolutely fine. Awesome. Stephanie's on here. Hey, thank you for the donation, Victoria. I appreciate that. I fast every day, says Lori, eating 20 to 25 grams of carbs a day, still not losing weight, and I work out three to four days a week. Help. Lori, whenever you hit a plateau, this is important for anybody who's getting results that have stopped, mix it up. First, identify the fundamentals of health, which I'll get to, and then mix it up. So the fundamentals, how is your sleep? Okay, most of fat loss takes place during sleep. Your fat burning hormones are activated during sleep. How's your stress? Because when you're stressed out, your body's gonna raise cortisol and then insulin follows and you're storing fat. So stress and sleep, are you moving around? You might be doing maybe too much working out and you just gotta do more movement throughout the day. That could be it. So if you're doing all that and you're still not getting the results you want, it's time to mix it up. Just like a great personal trainer, a fitness coach always mixes up the client's workout to keep the body guessing to get them results. Same thing with keto, same thing with fasting. So in my Keto Camp Academy, I got four pillars that teach you how to mix things up. Adaptation is key because when you create adaptation by changing your fasting schedule, eating different keto foods, or maybe not even doing keto, having one day getting out of ketosis, which I call keto flexing, mitochondria and cells get stronger, the good ones get stronger, the bad cells do not adapt. So mix it up. If you want me to coach you on this, Join the academy, you have a, an exclusive 50% off code right here. Um, Cindy, what, can you say what your favorite glucose equipment is? Yeah, I use Keto Mojo. Keto Mojo is my favorite, they're awesome. Uh, I'm actually releasing an episode tomorrow on the Keto Camp podcast and on the YouTube channel with um, a scientist from Biosense and it's the first accurate breath ketone meter. The first one that is actually accurate. So I did an interview with this gentleman. His name is Trey Suntrup. And uh, we talk all about this. We talk about why, why ketones drop after exercise, the three different types of ketones. That'll be out tomorrow, Thursday, June 25th on the Keto Camp Podcast. And here it's going to premiere on the YouTube channel. It's called Biosense. And I do have a coupon code for them, which is Keto Camp. But listen to the interview. I'm going to test my ketones right in front of you right now so you can see where I'm at. Um, what are your thoughts on adding lemon juice and or spices like cayenne pepper or cinnamon to apple cider vinegar to drink while fasting? I love all those ingredients, Victoria, but it's going to create a, a glucose response and it's gonna negate the autophagy benefits from that fast. So you won't get as many results from that fast if it was a, you'd get more results, I should say, if it was just water and sea salt. But if you wanna have those ingredients, you're still gonna get a lot of the benefits, but it's gonna negate some of the autophagy and it might even slow down some of the fat loss because of the glucose response. But I like the ingredients and I think it's a great crutch, right? Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for it to load here. I'll let you know. What you want to do with this, with this device, I talk about it during the interview, is it's giving you the acetone breath, acetone, and you multiply it times 10, and that's the equivalent of like a, a beta-hydroxybutyrate blood reading. So let's see what, where I'm at. Are, are you interested in seeing if I'm in ketosis right now? <laughs> if you are, write test, T-E-S-T, -E -T, if you want me to test my ketones. Right, T-E-S-T, -E and, and I'll let you know what they are right in front of you. By the way, I'm doing carnivore this month. I'm day 24 of carnivore, so I should be in ketosis. How much sea salt can you have? I like about one to two um, grams per day. Or I should, yeah, a few teaspoons per day. Okay, test, test, test. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow. So it's saying get ready. I don't know if you can see this, but get ready. And now it says blow. Now it's saying analyzing. So I'll let you know what it says. Analyzing, analyzing, analyzing. 
mybiosense.com, keto camp at checkout for $20 off, mybiosense.com. Tomorrow you'll listen to the interview. So I am at 0.5, all right? So I'm in barely at the start of ketosis, 0.5. Um, so could do better, but that's where I'm at right now. My typical readings have been somewhere between one to 1.5 during a uh, carnivore. Keep in mind though, when you are very efficient at using ketones, you're not going to get high amounts of ketones. You don't want that. The goal is not to chase ketones. It's to chase results. So for me, the sweet spot personally is somewhere between 0.8 and 2.8. I'm a little bit lower than where I want to be, but I should be there in a little bit. Um, if you have bone broth to end your fast, when can you eat? About an hour after Teresa is ideal. Am I live on Facebook? I didn't even check. Okay, cool. I am live on Facebook too. Um, Okay, I see Jonah. Hi, Jonah. I see Kim. Two Kims. And then um, what other questions do you have for me? Let's see. Diana, good job. Okay. I see some more questions. I'm just scrolling up here. How many of you are, by the way, how many of you are joining the Keto Camp Academy or have you already joined? Type in KKA if you are a Keto Camp Academy member or if you are going to sign up using that 50% off deal. Type in KKA. I want to know how many of you are on here. We are a growing family. We have over 350 of you in there and we're growing and growing and growing. So KKA if you are a Keto Camp Academy member or you are going to be a Keto Camp Academy member. I'd love to know. Yeah, Azalyn, I know you are. Good to see you. I'll answer your question right now as well. Zippor, I know you are as well. Serena, good to see you. You are Beth, new to K... Oh, Birdie. Hey, Birdie, good to see you. New to KKA. Uh, B, keep me. Oh, KKA. Diana, hey, Diana. Good to see you all. Uh, I love it. A lot of keto campers on here. Hey, Deborah, good to see you. I hope you're recovering from your surgery. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Our met, yeah, yes you are, I love it. I want me and my hubby to get into your keto program. Please help. Come on in there, there's still a few hours to get it in, to get it for 50% off. Uh, the link is kkaspecial.com and then keto50. Uh, okay, your question was, so should we drink only water if we are doing OMAD? I usually have water, vinegar, vitamin C in the morning. That's fine, yeah. I mean, ideally you just want some water and some sea salt, but I'm okay with the vitamin C and the apple cider vinegar. You'll still get a lot of benefits. Vani says, eventually I would like to. I would love for you to do it as well. Lindsay, hey Lindsay, KKA. Eve, KKA. Margie, KKA. Chris. Um, by the way, I'm doing another webinar on keto and fasting on July 3rd, which is Friday. So if you want to get signed up for that, it's a free webinar. Again, we only have a certain amount of capacity there. The link for that is just benazadiwebinar.com. So my name, benazadiwebinar.com. It's July 3rd. Only sign up if you can make it live. I am giving away over $200 worth in free digital downloads. And I also give you the presentation slides as well. Liliana, good to see you. Best program. I love it. I asked you in the beginning, I think you missed it, but what is one thing that you are grateful for today? I'd love to hear what you're grateful for today. Gratitude is a superpower. Your body begins to heal when you focus on love and gratitude. Yeah, I like cacao. Cacao is great. Go for it in South Africa, in Cape Town. I'm just looking at your questions here. Make sure I am still live. Okay, good. Beth says, can we have chicken wings and sour cream to break a fast? Yeah, just make sure it's uh, pastured healthy chicken wings and organic grass-fed sour cream. That's a great option to break your fast.
For recipes for bone broth, I don't know because I don't make it myself, but there's Kellyanne Petucci. She has a great book about it. And Serena, uh, I forget her name. There's a good book called uh, The Funky Kitchen, which also has some good recipes. The Funky Kitchen. I'm grateful for you too, Liliana, for breathing. I love that. I love it. Hey, Angie. I see it. I didn't know that was Angie. Good to see you now. You're welcome. Ben, you have saved my life. Brenda, I am grateful to contribute to your life. So thank you for that. Manu, I listened to your interview yesterday with Jeremy and I went to sleep three hours after I eat. Felt great. I love it. Good job, Manu. Way to take action. Uh, grateful for my feet. I love that. Would you like to... So I have a book about fasting and I have, a, I have an ethical bribe for you. If you want to get this book, a physical copy of this book, for free, I will sign it as well and mail it to you, only in the United States. Um, leave the Keto Camp podcast a rating and a review on Apple Podcast. And then take a screenshot of that, email it to ben at ketocamp.com and put the screenshot of the rating and review with your shipping address, United States only. And I will sign this paperback copy of my best-selling fasting book and my team will mail it out to you. So many of you did it last week. I'm going to be mailing that out to you soon. Uh, so leave, a, take a screenshot, a challenge, honest review. I'm not telling you to, you know, exaggerate, but an honest review of the podcast. Indoor temperature for sleep is going to be 62 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where sleep shows the best. That's where research shows the best sleep. Will you be teaching more carnivore after the challenge? Yeah, Serena, I'm actually gonna, I'm, I'm recording a video about my 30 day carnivore experience. I'm on day 24, so I'm gonna have some vi a video about that. I also interviewed Paul Saladino um, for my podcast and on the, he's on the YouTube channel where we talk more about it as well. Eight day brew fast, awesome job. I've got to join the Keto Camp Academy. Super cool to extend the offer. Yes, join it. Join us. All right, I'm going to answer a few more questions and then I'm going to sign off and go get in a fasted workout. During the daytime, uh, I don't know. For me, I like to keep it around 73, but I don't know what research shows is best. I know that's cold for sleep, but it's good for you. All right, I'm going to answer two more questions. So... What are those two questions? And on Facebook, I'm sorry, but I didn't see you here. Uh, hey, Tim Rice, I want to thank you, man. Uh, you always share the videos to your keto country group. So shout out to you, Tim. I appreciate you, that, brother. Two more questions and I'm out. What are those questions? Betty says, I just joined. Welcome, Betty. What machine is that, Vina? This is a BioSense device. It detects your breath ketones. MyBioSense.com. Uh, keto Camp at checkout for $20 off. I'm releasing an episode tomorrow with their scientist, Trey. Dana, good to see you. Barbara, good to see you. Yes, you are, Stephanie. Does a history of heavy drug and alcohol use affect the keto experience. I got to tell you that the human body is amazing. It's incredible. It can heal. It can adapt. As long as we identify the interference and then remove the interference, the body will heal. The body is incredible. The body is the world's greatest physician and you have access to that innate intelligence. 24 hours a day. So the past years of alcohol and drug abuse will affect your quality of health, but that doesn't mean you cannot overcome that. Okay. It might take you a little bit longer because your stress bucket is a little bit more full, but it can be done. You just got to stick and stay. It's bound to pay. I started keto and fasting simultaneously, says Evan. Three weeks ago, 
and haven't experienced anything negative effects. Should I start over? No, Evan, don't start over. You know, that's awesome that you did it together and you had amazing results. For most people, that wouldn't be the case. So no need to start over. Keep doing what you're doing. Congratulations. Thank you for an awesome session. You're welcome. Hit the thumbs up button on YouTube. Uh, it really helps. And then on Facebook, please tag somebody that you know would get value from this conversation and then hit the share button on your timeline. Um, and I would recommend that. Which protein do I recommend? Grass-fed and grass-finished beef. I like um, wild-caught fish. I like eggs, uh, macadamia nuts. Bone broth is great as well. Okay, last question is, what was your record, my record for fasting? I did five days last year of a water fast. I have a video about that on my channel. So that is my record. How many of you know the world's, the greatest, the Guinness World Record of the world's longest um, water fast? I wrote about him in my book. What's the record? What do you think? Guess. What is the world record for the longest recorded water fast? What do you think it is? I want to know if you know. I know Zippor knows. I know Liliana knows. I know Kim knows. Stephanie might know. So what do you think it is? So Manu says 365 days. Good guess. Chris says 366 days. Good guess. You haven't hit it yet. Bo says 70 days. Rasil says 388 days. Y'all are smart. Y'all are smart. You're getting close. You're getting close. Angie says 342 days. So the answer is, Beth just got it, 382 days. I'm going to show you his photo here. His name was Angus Burberry, and he went on a medically supervised water fast. And he had nothing but water and a multivitamin for 382 days. And he went from 450 pounds down to 180 pounds. He didn't have loose skin. His electrolytes looked fantastic. Blood work looked fantastic. He felt and looked fantastic. That's an extreme example to show you the body's designed for periods of feasting, periods of fasting. I really hope this video was helpful today. Again, hit the thumbs up button on YouTube. If you want coaching from me, I extended, I extended my 50% offer. It's still available if you're watching this on time. Uh, head to www.kkaspecial.com and then at the checkout, use Keto50 to get locked in at the 50% rate. Uh, I'm so grateful for you all. I thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. Have an amazing day. Put it in your calendar next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going live again. A couple of announcements as well. I'm going to be driving up to Tampa, Florida tomorrow. I'm in Miami, so it's about a three and a four hour drive. I'm going to be driving to Tampa, Florida tomorrow. I'm going to be in Tampa from Thursday to Sunday. I'm going to be speaking on stage with Dr. Pompa at an event in Tampa for uh, about 70 doctors. But if you're in Tampa, I'd love to connect with Keto Campers. I'm going to be recording a couple of podcast interviews, one of them with Dr. Pompa. Um, but if you're in Tampa, let me know. I'd love to connect with you. Maybe we'll have like a Keto Camp meetup. And uh, I appreciate you all for joining me today. I have so much love for you all. And have an amazing rest of your day. Choose faith over fear always. And I'm grateful for you all. Instagram, I am also grateful for you all.